Finally, I have reached the end of the desert. Let's say goodbye to Keymaster B and say hello to Glitch, but let's not say hi to him and go to the mountain. Finally, the mountain. We have Flaky as the first enemy. That means we got another code for Eidolon. Hooray! So we're here in Eidolon. Let's say the code and let's go. Hey, we got some card packs. Eternal card packs. Let's just open them right now. Ooh, Red Shizuar. I think that's a good one. Yeah, now he is one star. Let's do it again. Oh, we got even more red ones. Nice, he's now three star. That saved me a lot of keys, but that was that. I want to gamble some more, but I have nothing to gamble with. Bad face. Let's go to the next task. Make sure you claim the reward in Eidolon before going to the next task. Your code cannot be reclaimed. I've gotten a few comments about this. You really should read the warnings before you randomly click read the warning that pops up. Two warnings for it. So now we gotta reach the mist to get the hat. That's gonna take quite some time. So what I've been doing since last time. Well, I got all the fighters here. I'm into adept crafting. Give me some of that. And now let's do some more crafting here. Here we go, I'm not sure what this is. Maybe it's a forge use. Mm, I don't want to use it anyway. We have a lot of fish, but only the small ones. I haven't. Well, actually, I caught quite a few of these ones as well. But yeah. And here are the acolytes. I haven't focused much on them. I usually spend my money before I enter this screen. So whenever I try to buy a new one, I don't have any money. I completed a few of the tasks here in the easy, medium, hard one, and the extreme. Not sure what to buy here. Auto progress on mountains is pretty good, but it's gonna take quite some time to get there. Maybe gems from raid. I don't know what the orange key does. Ah, here it is. You own silver orange keys. I see. I don't really know what it is, so I'm not gonna use that. I will keep all of these currencies in a way, so I think we're gonna do that later. But I think that's it. I always forget to look at this crusade screen. It's a bit annoying that they are hidden away like this. You have to switch this around. Let's fight this guy. See how it goes. Yeah, we kick his ass pretty easy. Well, uh, actually, this one is pretty damn hard. You haven't even, yeah, I think I'm gonna exit. It's gonna take too long. We have to ascend to get to the farming. 100 gems for a card slot. So let's see, what have we got in? We're gonna get the idle attack speed. Here's a better idle attack damage. Let's remove that one and get this one. Base damage. Hmm. I think I'd rather have the damage than the speed. Two damage, one speed. That should be good enough. What the hell is this? Upgrade. Sure, let's see what happens. Oh, now it's a lot better. Interesting. Then let's swap. Get rid of this one, put this one in, now we have 10% attack speed. And let's see if we can upgrade this. Yes, we can. And upgrade this, we could not. We have 21 of the gray ones, zero of the green. So with that, I think I'm gonna ascend for the first time. Finally. So we click ascend, press ascend again to reset the game. If you don't want to ascend, close and reopen the game, just in case you misclick. Great job reaching the mountain this time around, but that means there are still two key masters out there and you only found one of the three secret areas. Also try talking to the blacksmith, I heard he needs help. You have ascended it zero times. One time, hooray! Oh my god, we're back. We have a lot of money though, so that's something. We have auto advance now. Let me get that new skiller, please. Thank you. There we go. Now it's a bit easier. Let's just unlock a bunch of stuff. And what else to do? There is nothing I can do, it feels like. Mining skill, thank you. Mining skill. Oh my god, our miners, they're gone. 
that's gonna be annoying to rebuild it. So this is good. You save the forge you scroll, so you don't want to waste that. And you also save your ore. That's really good. Leveling up pretty damn quick. Oh well, yeah, let's go to ascend and get our bonuses. Master give 50% more cash. Not bad. More idle attack. Oh, that one wasn't very good. 1.1 kills. We get more bonus stats here. Every time the water level up. More money for desert card levels. Okay. And the same here. I guess we're just gonna upgrade these two mostly. More cash seems to be really good. And there we go. Upgrade cost two. We have two. I cannot upgrade it. What is this? And in mastery, we have seven points. More fish. I want this thing. I don't know what it is, but I want it. Now we are unlocked fishing. This is new for me. I've never seen this one before. Toggle has been added. Not sure what that is. Get inactive crusader, crusader XP, tinkering XP, max fight bonus, and neon super attack. What the hell? Either damage every booster level, max shield, ICs, and mark. Hmm. What can it all mean? I have upgraded the auto a bit. So it's a lot faster now, and it uses more skills. Oh, what's this? More skills. Oh, onion, icicles, banana, tap, vamp, maybe, mark and steak, dark and light, maybe. This is attack and defense or something like that. Let's get the skillers. Okay, we need water for that. Me, no. Hmm, I lost all my money. So yeah. We have ascended in idle skilling. This is pretty bad because I can't really go AFK now, you know? I mean, turn off the game because I have nothing to idle with, you know, because my offline game would be tiny because everything is so slow and useless. But I think I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.